heading to Shenango River Lake to fish with a new fishing buddy, Sav. Sav said the last time he fished it, it was four and a half feet low. I don't know if you can see that, but there used to be a boat ramp right there, so. Sav showed up. I got one. Let's get it, dude. Let's, let's get it, dude. Oh, oh dude. Dude, I saw my line swimming. I think I got one. Dude, is that a smallie? You just caught a monster Fuck smallie. Yeah. That was another good hook sample. You're right. He really clicked on the camera as he was biting it, dude. Was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Was that one of those birds? Yeah. They're chasing that fucking bird. Dude, that bird has a fish. Do you see it? Oh shit. Yeah, look. Oh! No, ah! He almost oh, got it. Day. Dude, oh, I should have been oh, taping yeah. that. That's an eagle right there. These two eagles just bullied that smaller fish for or smaller bird for a fish and they dropped it. That one eagle almost caught it. There's two eagles. Dude, that was dope. Ooh, the snag came out. Welcome back, bitchin' and bassin' fam. It is a pretty crappy Saturday. In two miles, take exit. Sorry about that, we got the GPS on. We are clearing the Mercer now. We are actually heading to Shenango River Lake to fish with the new fishing buddy, Sav, aka Zach. We're actually gonna go on Sav's boat instead of taking Beatrice out, which is nice for a change. But like I said, it is a crappy Saturday and we are a week into May, man. And it's like, the high today is like 45, 50, so. Who knows what the bite will be like. Hopefully we get on a bunch for you. I'm still looking for that giant. So uh, I'm excited to get out here and fish with Sav. We've been talking for a while, so to finally fish is kind of nice. Um, like I said, we're fishing Sonango River Lake. I've only fished that lake once, so I'm sure Sav can show me some spots. We drove through some rain. It's not supposed to rain today, so let's hope we stay dry. I'm praying we stay dry, so but the GPS is getting ready to give me a whole bunch of directions. We're about to get off the highway. Take exit 15, then keep right at the fork. I just wanted to get you guys a quick intro so you guys know what's going on. We're not far from the ramp. Uh, I mean, Sav should be there, so hopefully they didn't sleep in or nothing, but like me. We will see you when we get to the ramp, man. Like I said, hopefully we get on something for you. Let's go. And if you're not, if you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel, yo. I could really use your support. I appreciate all the subscribers. You guys are great. I appreciate y'all. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video, and if you do, make sure to leave a like. And like I said, subscribe if you're not. Let's go. Bitchin' and bassin' out. All right, y'all. We're here. Sav showed up. It's got a beautiful boat, dude. I was not expecting this boat to be this nice. But we're finally here hooking up with Sav after talking for a minute. I'm glad we fished. It's kind of a shitty Saturday, but I think we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna get on the water and go, so. All right, they must be using it as like flood control or something. Might have to flip shallow, dude. Like stuff like this, see how it's flooded? Right, it's worth a check, I mean, but we could fish. Like I said, we got all day. Oh, the straps. Go get him, yeah. It's not too bad, actually. It's 10:37. Ready for that, Devin? Devin. Oh no! I'm gonna have to get wet. Damn it! How can I go about this? Hmm. I'm trying to think how to get here. It's bad too. Dang yeah. No, no, no. You're not in the way. I'm just trying to figure out because I don't want to start the day with soggy feet. That would be bad. You got some depth over here. I can like make the hop if you just kind of pull up to the side here. This is nuts. <laughs> Where's the water usually at? Like, like the water's usually like here. Uh, oh yeah, because I see the start of the ramp right here. Yeah, the ramp's usually not completely underwater. There we go. Minty. There's one of these phones is already on the, uh, bottom of Lake Arthur. Really? 
It's a little chilly, but we're dressed for success today. Hi, uh, we're on the lake and it's a lot. Sab said the last time he fished it, it was four and a half feet low. I don't know if you can see that, but there used to be a boat ramp right there. So we had a little bit of a conundrum trying not to get my feet wet getting on the boat. But we're good. We're on the water. Now all we gotta do is find the fish. So we got the jacket in case the wind gets rough. But let's get to it. Bottom. Yeah. Down, down here. I see. I do like this little cut right here, dude. Especially when the water warms up. You're gonna catch bass, come back here. The water won't be clear enough, but blind cast something on the bottom. Up shell. Ooh, I think I just got a bite, dude. Oh, oh my goodness. He had it that whole time, dog. He had it that whole time. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just broke that jig off with the quickness. I let him swim up into the shit. I felt the bite. It was kind of soft. Son of a bitch. That broke way too quick, dude. Did you see that shit? Either my line sucks or he had me up in the shit. I like that jig too. That was the first day I was using that jig. Is that a fucking eagle? It looked like. There's an osprey. There's osprey. I don't know. That looked kind of eaglish though. Is that a fucking bite? Yeah, they're like. Either they're mating or. We'll get that one. Get back out of there. I literally threw into a snag. <laughs> Directly. Oh, that's rock. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Was that one of those birds? Yeah. That's crazy. That is them. They're chasing that fucking bird. Dude, that bird has a fish. Do you see it? Oh, shit. Yeah, look. Oh, no. ah, he almost got it. Dude, oh, I should have been taping that. Dude, these two birds just like bullied. These two eagles just bullied that smaller fish for, or smaller bird for a fish and they dropped it. That one eagle almost caught it. There's two eagles. Dude, that was dope. Ooh, the snag came out. That was dopey dope. I was sick to see that, dude. I seen like something hanging like, I thought they got him. Like, did they open him up? I'm like, oh no, he got a fish. Um, my dad told me before, it's not always about the fishing. Yeah. Word, huh? Good thing I didn't catch that thing. Oh, I got one. As soon as I press record. Dude, I saw my line swimming. Nah, not a bad one. Not a bad first fish, dude. All right, it's not a bad fish, dude. Hell yeah, I told you we'd get on him eventually. Look how I, I waited a little bit to set the hook. All right, y'all, dude, I literally clicked on the camera as he was biting it, dude. That's what's up. All right, y'all. Out with Sab, bitching and bassing. It's the first fish. He ate the Texas rig. He brought us back on this juicy little pocket, dude. Look at that. It's not a bad. He's probably a pound and a half, two pounds. He's starting to get a little red in his tail, too. So you can tell that water's having him all over the place. All right. That's the start to a good video, dude. That's what's up. All right, if we get another bite back here, we know to find this still water shallow. We're not going to weigh him. He's a good fish. All right, thank you, sir. Being the first bitch in the bag. Oh, yeah, he's definitely preggers. The bug is the drug. Dude, my line just, I didn't feel nothing. I just like was like, wait, my line's moving without me doing anything. And I always have to say I got one before I set the hook. All right, y'all, so we're shallow, pitching a lightweight Texas rig. I think I got a quarter ounce tungsten on, old hammer hook. 
and a bandito bug, and that one just picked it up and ran with it. Did it late, jeez, I did. He was on it again for a while, and then I felt the tug. Ain't no lightweight Texas. That's fish number two, smaller than the first one. Ain't the light rate Texas Rick Bandito bug. This guy's like a pounder. Exactly. Okay, he's got the yellow eyes. Fish number two, and he's warm. Water's definitely warm on the outside right now. A little pounder on the Texas rig. Nothing to write home with. He's chunk. Right. I was not expecting him where he was. He was right on the end of that tree. What are you throwing? Chatty daddy. I just got hammered on the big swim bait. I just got hammered on the big swim bait. Hammered. Look at that. Look at that. I just got Damn. hammered. Oh, please stay here for a second. Oh my goodness, dude. First cast. Can't put my hands to rig this thing. Dude. If that was a bass, it was my PB. That thing ripped a six inch bait off. Dude, I cannot get this bait on. First cast, dude. Whatever that was, it just like knocked the shit out of this. I don't know if it was a stripe, but uh, this ain't gonna work. Let me try the gizzard shad. This is a little bigger hook for it, but I gotta throw something back at this thing. Creature. See if that changes anything. Where are you? Oh. Yep. Touch the trick again. I actually felt that bite. He's a little fatter. A little fatty. Alright, bud, sorry. <laughs> yeah, a little football. Fish number three. We need him to get bigger, though, but Texas rig is the only thing that's bringing him in for me. So, just sitting there dragging it and letting it sit. But, i let him go. Let's get on another one. Looks like a nice little cut. Should be one in here. Should definitely be one in here. Ooh, that was a perfect cast. I'll let that sit there for a second. I said, they're biting it when I'm dead sticking it. Sometimes just how it falls is why they bite it. Is that one? Yeah, that's a good one, dude. Bring him in. That's a good one. That's a good one, dude. You want the net? Huh? Yeah. You weren't making any noise. I'm like, dude, did I not call that cast? No, no. Hey, keep can bring him in over here. Where are you? He's hooked good. He's hooked good. Dude, is that a smallie? You just caught a monster Fuck smallie, yeah, dog. Hell yeah. You just caught a Hell monster yeah, smallie, bro. dog. God damn. Hell yeah, dude. Let's Dude, dude. Let's go, bro. Hell yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. 
Did I not tell you that was the perfect cast? I was like, bro, that was a perfect cast, bro. Let it sit there. Show me its gut. Dude, that's a good fish, dude. We gotta get away. We're about to wreck. Did it. you feel the bite? Oh, yeah. He, yeah, well, yeah. he's a smallie. Hold on. Actually, let me. I'm doing it backwards. I'm gonna say just over three. It's your biggest smallie? This. <laughs> that's a good smallie, dude. Two and a half still. Dude, that's a, oh, he's got a gut. I always do that with small as that. That's a long, what did he measure 16. at? 16. What did he, oh, 16, no, that's right. But look, he's, they were spawning nice, too. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice fish. Dude, he made a perfect cast for that fish, dude. Crush it. I called that, so I said, yo, Summer if Croft. fish don't bite it, I might bite it after that cast. Summer Cross, Strike King, uh, Strike King, Rage Bug, Texas Rage. That's fish number four of the day, and that's the biggest, so. All that work I've been putting in, he comes in with one hook set. That's been a long time coming for me. That's, a... That's what's up though, dude. Like that makes it worth coming out today. Yeah, yeah. You... I was like reeling it in slow and I, like, I felt it moving. I was like, all right, all right. Yeah. I'm more happy than you are. Like, that's, I'm more geeked than the fish I caught. I love when people catch fish, dude. I mean, this is already a good day to me, even with the cold shit. I've had nicer days where I went out and didn't catch dick. My dumbass wanted to throw everything I had in the boat. You see a deer? Oh, I see it. I'm a shallow guy. This summer I'm going to try to find deep fish, but I love fishing shallow. I love throwing into the dirtiest, nastiest shit I can and pulling fish out. Dude, today's turned out all right, dude. Some of the better days of the year for me, even, dude. I uh, literally, as the freaking GoPro died, this guy's a feisty one. Come on, bro, Jesus. Whipping the freaking tungsten every. This dude's feisty. Got another fish. I guess, dude, that's like identical to that first one I caught. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's like another two pounder. Uh -huh. Nice thick. This is this is the type of fish we went full live on. He got every bit of the hook. I saw again. Didn't feel the bite. Saw my my thing. That's why I told you. I was like, man, I got a fish. He was swimming hard with my bait. That's what this hammer hook does, though. Dude, I love these hammer hooks. Throwing a little man bear pig light Texas rig. Got fish number four for me. Look at them. They're ready to go. We're staying here, cause I'm gonna throw right back up in there. I would, yeah, I would let you. I'm gonna let you break in there. That was a good fish. Hell yeah. Yes. Fishing about let's go. If you haven't already, can, Sab, can you tell him to subscribe? Let's go. You see, he told you. I didn't tell you that time. That was somebody else. Join. You see, we're growing. I always get mad more respect a lot of the times. All right, Chesty, we're back. Literally, as this died, right where I cast it, a fish picked it up. We got, we didn't get the hook set or the fight, but we got the fish on the other camera, so you guys saw that by now, but maybe he was just camera shot, man. He just wanted, you know, he just wanted to wait till the camera's off before he bit. Good fish, feisty fish. He tore up my thumb. I don't know if you could see. But that's five fish in the boat. I got four largies in the smallmouth master up front. Just caught a nice chunk smallmouth with a perfect cast. You guys probably saw it. It was recording. You know what I use? Dumbbells. I have a six, a 15. That's And that's the cool thing about dumbbells. You can get whatever pound you need. Like this is a little bit heavier boat. I hope nothing bit that. Oh no, that's from coming over that branch. But um, you could get like a 20 or whatever. And the cool thing about it is like I'll drag them too. Like it, like I'll put a lighter one on if I just want to. Like if the wind's blowing and it'll just slow you down some. Or if I like, if there's two people and I know it's windy, I'll bring the heavier one. So if we need to like anchor up somewhere. Yeah, you gotta bend down. Uh, I think nah. He bit. Like I got a bite. I thought he was still on there, and I just got snagged. 
you see, that's proof, y'all. It is what the second Saturday in May, eight days into May. It was like a high of today of what 45 degrees. Yeah. We may hit 50. I it wasn't, even wasn't even 50. The, it, the temp's been going down all day, and we've been catching fish all day. You can't, you can't hide in the house because it's cold or because it's crappy out. You want to catch fish, you want to get better at catching fish, you got to put time on the water. You got to get it out. It's, it's, it's going to be crappy every once in a while. And sometimes, that's the better bite, y'all. So, we're going to try to put even more fish in the boat for you. So, I'm going to get to it. There she is. The wind, the wind, the wind. a juice spot dude especially for the bite we're on right now one, dude. two two and a half pound small mount this is the boat fucking pv right now it's the boat record right now but we got like two two pound we're right on his tail five fish so well we'd have four fish in a tournament right now because that one wouldn't have made it the real little one i caught so we need to get our kicker fish maybe call out some of these two pounders huh seems like a code to do it yeah, this is good as far as that. How deep are we are? Yeah, we're good. The wind died down, it seems like, overall. I need to switch. Actually, before I start, just go get, look, go get, you know what I used to send mine? On the first transistor, I used the, uh... What's the infomercial, dude? Flex Steel. Yeah. Dude, it, that shit is magic, well, dog. Actually, that first bite wasn't that long into the day, maybe an hour, yeah. hour or two. And I'm mad because I wish we'd have been throwing the like Texas rig at the, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's another thing that like will hurt me. I'll be like, oh, well, I need to go back to all the places I didn't fish this bait. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I gotta take this coat off. New spot, guys. Probably one of the last spots. We're gonna try to get this tournament bag together. We've caught five fish, four tournament worthy. We got two two pounders, a two and a half pound smallie, and probably a pound, a little over a pound bass. And then I caught one that didn't go. So I would have loved to seen what bit that swim bait did. I really don't think it was a bass. See how that like cuts out. I think I got one. That's the one that bit you. He felt big at first. That's the one. I'm sorry, Dad. Slow your fish, dog. No, you're good. That that was him, dude. I saw you set the hook. That was him. Look, he's a little shorter, a little fatter. They've all been good size. Dude, we gotta we gotta tour. Ooh, and that was going for the hook set. Yeah, that's what. That's what's up. I forgot to turn that camera off. Uh, we took his eye out. He's a little. This guy's way more football than any other fish we caught today. So. Shenango is showing out today, dude. This is one of the better days I've had this year, dude. Sav, I'm going fishing with Sav more. Sav's my good luck charm. Sorry, Luke. Sorry, Josh. But this dude's putting me on him, dude. That's a football. You know what? Ah, they're so freaking feisty up here today, dude. Hey, dude. They're so. Look at that fish, dude. That's a two. Look how wide he is, though. Look how short. I bet. Look. Let's see how short this guy is. 14 and a half, dude. This is a heavy 14 and a half inch fish. Let's see. Zero. Keep throwing right up in that tree because that is like a perfect little spot. All right, y'all. 
This guy is gonna just like I said, he's almost he's like one and just like one point eight basically. He's one pound twelve ounces. So he's one and three quarter pounds. He's a little bit smaller than the two pounder you're catching, but that's about what we've been catching today. Beautiful fish. But just let him go. Thank you, sir. Alright, dude, that's fish number five. We now have a full bag of keeper fish. We're probably looking right at like 10 pounds. Like every fish was almost two pounds on the dot. Probably a little less. No, your 2.5 puts us that at, we're like at 10 pounds exactly for five fish. So we're looking for that kicker fish. That guy, same thing, didn't feel the bite. I saw the line swimming right away. Sav hooked into him a cast before that and missed him. I, I cast right back up there and he ate it. I'm surprised he ate it. Like I figured it would have took another cast or two, but he ate it right away. But come on, if you're not subscribed by now, come on, man, join the BNB fam. Let's get it. Shout out to Sav. My good luck, y'all. that dude throw on the other side of that you are so right dude i never feel the bite dude throw out this thing he's a little bigger see what i mean i never worry because this hook has him pegged dude Ooh, that's it that's my biggest one of the day look at them dude they are but just let it sink. Did you see right where I let it sink? Dude, it's so weird how they are today. Oh yeah, that's the best one of the day. I might have got them at the end of the day. Please tell me I got them. Yeah, that's the best fish of the day. I think I'm, uh, what was yours, two five? This might be two and a half. It's another fish, y'all. Uh, probably the best one of the day. Came off a little brush pile. It's a good one, dude. Creature like the Texas rig flipping. Cold weather, who would have thought? He might go three. All right, I'm gonna get him weighed. I would, oh, see where that stick's going in the water too? That looks like a good spot over there too. Not a bad fish, dude. His tail, see? It's like they've already made beds and they push back off. See, his tail's messed up, but it's not red. Oh, oh. Is that all right? It's zeroed. See it? Zeroed. Oh, this dude got me by a couple ounces. Oh my god, where are we way at that? Two, two. two, three. It's two, three. All right, we are teared. I'll see. We are teared. Biggest in the boat's two, five. Did I get him? Did I get him? They're probably like, oh, we tied. Nice. We tied. 2-5. I'm keeping that one. We're keeping that weight. He actually probably got me because this is probably half an ounce. So it's probably two four and a half. But that just goes to show half ounces. So it's 2-5, baby. It's a good fish, man. So we got two two five. So that's 5 for 2 plus 3 2. So I got this up to 11 pounds. 11 pounds for 5 fish. Great day. I'm having a blast for Sav. I can't thank Sav enough for bringing me out and putting me on a ton of fish, dude. Let's let her go. Alright. Bitchin' and bassin'. She wants you to subscribe. Let's get it. She's off. No fish were harmed in the making of this film. I promise. Look at that, because dude, that was a GS fucking hook set. Yes, dude. So fucking Sav came through with his number two fish. Two pounder. Dude, hilarious hook set, dude. Just the rock star. You vent the knee and everything, that fish. How many times did you throw down that line? And see, he, and he bit it. You can only ask for days like these, so. 
go. Texas Ridge putting in work. Look at that. Another short little bag. All healthy fish. I know they never look as good on camera, but trust me, that's a thick fish. Show them the gut. That was another good hook set. Hand, like you're, you're swiping hook set. Like there's no way they're going to get it because he was eating it. I'm going to get that. I think I can get that. Do you want me to try it? Apparently, Sad's making a comeback on me. I had the numbers, but this dude had the biggest smallmouth and he just caught the biggest fish. This is easily a three, three and a half pound fish. Let's see, he ate the hook pretty deep though. So once we see, see what I mean? You're not feeling the bite. That's the bite I've been getting. They suck it in. You didn't feel until he started moving. Look, Sav saved the day. I don't know. Killer fish, dude. That's a three all day. That's probably a little over three. Look, spawn. Dude, the pattern is killing it. See what she's hitting for some scale. Just under. Just under. Oh, just, dude, that's such a gorgeous fish. With that gut, I thought it was three all day. But that basically is a three. Look at Sav. Sav the Savage. Killing me. I was worried, man. Then he, he's, he's had a flurry, dude. All his fish have been key, dude. That's what? Fish number 12. I've caught seven. So you've caught five? Yeah. Me and Sav set this out a week ago. The weather was looking weird. Sav, he thought it was getting shaky on him. Like Wednesday, he's like, we're still good? I was like, yeah, we're still good. And it's the most simplest pattern, guys. It's literally light tungsten, EWG hook, light Texas rig. Just put a creature bait. I figured out the creature bait thing early. He's throwing a different style, but they're creature bait. And sometimes they're eating it as soon as it hits the water. And then you see he's working it, and he's he's pulling them off the bottom. So what a beautiful lake, guys. I, I, you'll definitely see me back here. Shenango River Lake, even on a cold, shitty day, awesome lake. So... What boy? What boy? Smalley! Yes, nice Smalley! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yes, dude! Let's go. Yes! And it's not a bad one, Let's dude. Go. Let's go! Let's go! Chill, 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 homie. He's wild, yo. Yeah, he has that, that has really good color to it. Dude. Yeah. Yours is doing a little bit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude. And a Smalley. We're having a great day out here now. Like we're trying to get off the water right now. Like this literally was the second to the last spot and we both caught one off it, dude. Look at that. This is my first smallie of the year. It's been hard to leave though. I know, and look how good this upcoming cove looks. Let's get it, dude. Pattern, Texas rig. Apparently for both species of bass, there's tons of wood. This is a point too, so this is kind of making sense. Hell of a catch, dude. We each got one small and a whole bunch of largies. Let's go. Bye, baby girl. Good pounder. Another good fish. We're going over. Not bad, not bad. Savage, savage. Doing them dirty, like always. All right, y'all. What, man? We had a hell of a day. We're back at the freaking boat dock. It's like six something. We've been out here for like seven hours. We figured him out though. He he caught the last big in, thought he was snagged, ended up pulling like a almost a three pounder out. Then he caught another little one, but I still win the day with numbers. I got him by one fish. We both got a small mouth. I'm gonna hop off here, get the truck and the trailer down here. We're gonna get off the water and go get something to eat. We got a couple boats to wait on. But Shenango River Lake, definitely a lake worth checking out. Sav lives on the lake, so that's why I came out with him. He knew where to go, and hey, look. He knew where to go. I figured out the bike, and together we made it happen, happen. But I will see y'all whenever I fucking turn the camera back on, I guess. <laughs> I was like on the ride home, but there's no reason for that. All right, y'all, till the next one. Subscribe if you ain't. Seven you, you like that. It's never new, you like. Urge with Bronx. Seven you, you like that. It's never that. Urge with Bronx. Seven you, you like that. It's never new, you like. Urge with Bronx. Seven you, you like that.